You are now entering the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends. Now this here is hard to swallow, but if you do, it's like hitting a lot. What's it about it? Hey, this is Annalise. And Neil C. from the Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks podcast. Proud members of the Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. <laughs> Time for you to get ready for some audio awesomeness. Now give me some BS9, Mr. Selector. <laughs> More like this? Yes, please talk like that for the entire show. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. You with full energy now? Y- yeah. Get your drink up. Get your drink up. Ch- get your fucking drink up. Don't fucking put your fist in the air like you're trying to jack off Jesus. Huh? You look like you were trying to jack off Jesus. You put an empty fist in the air. Jesus is not up there. And your mouth was open like you were like, oh, yeah, fuck me in the mouth, Lord. <coughs> Luba, Luba, listen up. Listen up and bring on the antibiotics. It's time. It's time for... What the fuck's the name of that show again? How to do this water? What, what the hell does that even mean? How do you feel about anal? The program you are about to hear is long, thick, and hard to swallow. Consider yourself warned. Now, your host, Jay Bidwell. Thanks, Lorenzo. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Hard to Swallow, coming at you from jaybidwell.com. Guess that makes me Jay motherfucking Bidwell. Who the hell are you? I am Bethany motherfucking Buchanan. Bethany motherfucking Buchanan. Haven't seen your smiling face around this microphone in a while. Yeah. This is the part where I pretend I give a shit and ask you how things have been. Hey, um, things have been, uh, things have been things. I, uh, I last made... Things have been things, yes, folks. I last made my, um, my hard to swallow debut. With all the boys? Uh, some about a year ago now, so. Yeah, we talked, you're 21. No, I'm actually 12. She just turned 21 in like, what was your birthday? Like June, I should know this. I you should know this. I'm, I'm just gonna. 621. Yes. So, um, this all feels phony as shit already. Tell the folks why. I'll tell the folks why. So, uh, we just did this. We fucking recorded this show on fucking Tuesday, and... Fuck you, technology. You're a real piece of shit. It was hard for the computer to swallow. It was absolutely hard for the computer to swallow because the fucking file is gone. Magic. Corrupt. It got raped. Buried. Worn like a skin suit. I don't got nothing. A what? A skin suit. You've been watching too many serial killer shows. I I do watch a lot of serial killer shows. But uh, all these topics were too good for me to just be like... (laughs) <laughs> fuck that, I'm not doing that show again. Dear. So here we are, sitting here, and we're going to... I don't know how to go about it. Do we pretend like we didn't have the last conversations? Or do we just like well, try to recreate? I don't know how to I do I was this. still all very passionate about all the topics we talked about the first time. Mm, okay. So, with the with the right... Phrasing from you, you may be able to instill the same passion in me this time. I don't know. It's I don't know so if I can fucking do it for a third time. So you better not. Fuck it's it up this so time, fucking irritating to have to go through all this shit again because one of my biggest things is, as you know, when someone comes over here to do one of these, I never fucking tell them what we're going to talk about. Right. I never educate anybody. I'm like, oh, this is what we're going to cover tonight. I bring him in and I want that fresh take on topics. Yeah. And now it's you Still, and me again. Like and we just fucking diaper. did this two days ago. I went to go fucking edit the show last night and it was not fucking there. Well, I guess it was kind of there. But the files within it were gone. So sad. So and sad. I spent three goddamn hours somehow digging up files on my computer that I deleted in 2006. Didn't even own the goddamn computer in 2006, but here we go. This whole thing is kind of like deja vu, though. You're still not wearing pants and you're drinking the same kind of beer you were drinking a couple days ago, so. Yeah, well, some things never change. Tried and true. The American way. True. Jay Bidwell. A nice, cold George Killian's Irish red and no fucking pants. Before, uh... And I got a belly full of beef, so yeah, it really is kind of the same. Before you got home uh, the other day, 
Killian was drinking uh, his own little dog beer. <sighs> they don't know what you mean when dog you say beer. dog beer. Because Killian the dog was drinking. I named my dog after George Killian's Irish Red. The dog's name is Killian. She calls it fucking dog beer because she's a little bit. It's his favorite drink. She's he a little simple. It. Her head's got a lot of lumps. It's Dented. his favorite drink. Dented. If anybody wants to take part, obviously, because this show's kind of a whim show, I did not set it up today, but future episodes, feel free to give us a ring at 651-321-TWAT. <laughs> that is 651-321-TWAT. And if you can't figure out that fucking number, then we don't want you calling us anyway. Just kidding. It's 8928. I really like saying things in unison. I really like when you don't say things. <laughs> well, but then why would I even be on the show? Okay, yeah, fine. If I don't say awkward. yeah, it'd just be like, well, what do you think about this? <laughs> I agree with you. I, yes. re- I really do want to try sometime to do an entire show like playing different characters. Oh. I think that could be, that'd probably be horrible. Let's not kid anybody that would be atrocious probably (laughs) i don't know i could it'd be funny for maybe five minutes other ways to take part in the program tweet that that twitter i think the kids it's the twatter it's not twatter tweet at bidwell fog b-i-d-w-e-l-l-f-o-g and find us on facebook at facebook.com slash peon pods p-e-o-n p-o-d-s and if Poop. My name is JJ. I have all the hiccups. If Jay randomly has another hiccup episode, <gasps> we may uh, we may need to to shut her down yeah. and do a take. Three. Just moments before we started recording, I was able to put a kibosh on that shit. Is that what they say? Kibosh. Kebab. Fuck you. Why are you always saying Speaking that? Speaking of kebabs, I learned something new this yeah? week. I, I feel so fucking phony doing this shit. Kansas City push pop. Okay, wait, no. Let me see if I can remember it. It's where you're in prison and you fuck someone until they shit on your dick, right? You're an absolute liar. You don't remember? Oh, wait, no. You you just touch a little bit of it. I don't Kansas know. City push pop. Do you have to be in prison? I've already forget. I doubt it. If I were to, say, bend over one of my, my male buddies and I poke him just in the butthole a little bit would you be a buddy at that point Uh, be a real good buddy no be a real friendship and at that moment where he starts to go oh no no please and i pull out i back up and i go just kidding i'm not a fag and then he goes why did you do that i feel like he would be crying tears of joy at that point kansas city push pop me he he would know what that yeah he he's like oh for years, my daddy warned me not to go to prison because you might get push popped. Don't get push popped in Kansas City. <laughs> but happy nine eleven, I guess. I don't. Uh, I don't know that. <laughs> I feel like probably, those are related. That's, that's probably the, the great holiday segue. Holiday that you don't like. Tell people like happy holiday. I said that to a girl I work with today. I said happy nine eleven. She goes, "That's horrible." I said, "Okay." <laughs> I said, "Not this one hasn't been that bad." I said, "Compared to some of the past, this is a pretty good day." Yeah, I. This is I, not one of the worst nine eleven. Is all we're saying. I was talking to this dude today, and he was like, "This sucks. Today sucks." And I was like, "Why?" He goes, "Cause it's my birthday." And I was like, "Oh yeah, that must suck." He goes, "Yeah, twenty two is all downhill from here." And I was like, "Oh, I thought you meant because today's nine 11 He goes, "It is. I forgot." And I was like. You said your fucking birthday was today. Um, other things that we talked about on the last program. I guess we'll mention Reigns. Oh, yeah. Fundraiser again. Fun. Uh, there was a young lady who is an actress who appeared on a podcast that I used to do. Uh, I believe it was the very first episode. Twas. Of Call Logs, which is also available on jbidwell.com. Uh, shortly after uh, her appearance on the show... She found out that she was diabetic. Just sad. She's the cutest little thing. Childhood diabetes. Um, and right now she has um, some groups and fundraising sites set up to help uh, get 
I guess it's a, just a dog. What are the dogs supposed to detect, like, your drop in blood sugar? Facebook.com slash dad for rain. She also needs a new dad. <laughs> is the group uh, on Facebook. And if you want to find that, it's Facebook.com slash D dot A dot D dot for rain. And rain is spelt R A I N E. So we decided that D A D stood for um, something. I think it's like diabetic alert dog or something like that. Either that or she needs a dad. <laughs> She needs, a, she needs, a, she needs a, a diabetic alert dog that doubles as a father. <laughs> Their GoFundMe link uh, is GoFundMe.com slash diabetic alert dog for rain. And like I said, rain is R-A-I-N-E. So if you want to go help a little girl uh, not only get a companion, but a companion that might help save her life and a at dad. some point. Yeah. She's I don't, a cute kid. I don't think Killian can detect when my blood sugar is low, so I'm pretty fucked. He'll walk up, probably lick the jizz towel next to my head, and um, I don't know what he'll do. Maybe, maybe well, get a red rocket. You don't know that that's something he can't do, but he has no way of telling you. You know? Maybe he's... Maybe <laughs> he's yeah, we buy him, and he's like, if, I would love to tell my owners that I am a trained dad, <laughs> diabetic alert dog, but... I don't have the words, so I'm just going <laughs> to jump around, lick my own asshole, and act like a fucking Killian spaz like every time you come home. Asshole, asshole, he licks his wiener. But if Killian had like a like a trade, what uh-huh. do you think he would be? If he had a trade? Like, yeah. Like, like if, it were, if it were like Planet of the Dogs, and he had to go to work every day with a right, little like puppy would... lunchbox full of kibble. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> what would he, I can just picture Kelly and I so cute. He would be like the dumb construction worker. No, I think he he would be educated. He's a smart dog. He's just really excited. Oh, he knows. Oh my he god, heard. he knows we're talking about him. He's yeah. so cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think he'd be. He probably heard his name sixteen times. I think he'd be. A, he'd be a good. I don't know. I think he would. He'd at least be a gone good. To- I don't know. That's the best segue ever. <laughs> no, I think he would have at least gone to college. Um, well, if you can get into college, I'm just kidding. Hey. He, oh, he'd have to wear a hard hat, though. You were born with one. Shut up. <laughs> and it's lumpy. Clearly, I wasn't because that's how I got the lumps. Uh, let's lumpy. move on to all these exciting tockets. Tacos. Tockets? I think I said tockets. Let's move on to all these exciting topics that tacos. we've already covered once, but we're going to pretend like we haven't. Got it? Uh, first of all, I got to apologize, everybody. You know, uh, missed a week or so. Oh, yeah. Um... Almost missed another fucking week if I didn't feel like doing this shit again. You should uh, act like you were doing something really cool. Um, Yeah, dude. I was totally... Um, tropical vacation. I'm sorry, what? Tropical vacation. I was on a tropical vacation. Um, that in, he won when he was on The Price is Right. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Lopez Pussy was the prize. I uh, we went to a nice tropical. It was very wet. Question. It um, was a uh, very... Um, how Rooney? much would her, that be uh, in the showcase? So J Lo's pussy was in the showcase. Yeah, I would overbid by a lot. Yeah. Well, then how would you win the showcase? <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, "That's easily a two million dollar." <laughs> and they're like, "Ma ma ma ma." Only one ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you could get her for a squirt. Get it? Like the bottle of soda? Yeah, but it's oh. also like a. I get it. Like yep. a jizz squirt. Mm-hmm. I thought it was funny. Yep. I laughed. Yep. I laughed at my joke. I mean, I like chuckled a little bit. So, uh, I did get some Twitter people. Tweeters. I did get some tweet tweets about uh, where the fuck is your new show? Well, here it is. Uh, here's what happened. Missed a week. Then fucking recorded this one twice. So, that's why there's a delay. Fuck you guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs> what if the old one came back and we had like a magical show on show show. Then we could have different, it'd be like a variant cover for a comic book. Just yeah. a variant show with the same exact topics. Yeah. Or yeah, like, probably not going to happen. Like a, you know how sometimes they'll like shoot a pilot with all but one of the characters different mm-hmm. Then and then it could be like that? Mm-hmm. Kind of? Mm-hmm. So, um, managed to see three films for the price of zero last all the week. Films. All the films. AMC Theaters offered a free screening uh, for the entire was it Labor Day weekend. Labor Day so, weekend yeah. uh, to see a film called Begin Again. Legit little film. If you yeah, if you, you like, uh, was it was a dramedy kind of. Did you like the of? music? I liked the music. Yeah, or do you think it was good. too like? 
I liked it when Adam Levine wasn't singing it. Yeah, well. He was a little hokey. His in that facial film. hair just kept getting weirder and weirder the whole movie. <laughs> uh, so AMC was offering like, oh, you, any time of day, come on in. They had these little tickets by the register. Come see this movie for free. For free. I took it fucking advantage. Is that a word? At fucking advantage. Disadvantage is the word. No. Of that. They don't have anybody watching their aisles. That movie theater is probably the shadiest movie theater <laughs> in the area. That, you know what, though? It's also probably the cheapest, and movies are right. not cheap these days. So, um, yeah, what I would do is I'd go up and talk to the little autistic boy at the fucking register. <laughs> You're the I, was, I was waiting for him to go, didn't you just see, see this, this movie? Uh, yeah, did they? Like, Earlier today. <laughs> but no, I would sneak into uh, the other films that I wanted to see. I saw, uh, what was it As Above, So Below, the horror film. Let's be cops. You never told me that you saw that. Yeah, I went the next morning. Oh. <laughs> I went we went Saturday, I went Sunday night, and then I went Monday morning. You're the worst. <laughs> well, I was like, I want to see these movies. I'm not going to fucking pay later to right, see them. Right, right. Might as well take advantage now while you dipshits are just handing out free fucking tickets. Right. Had there been other movies in that aisle that I wanted to see, I would have fucking seen them too. Probably, but then you felt bad for Kelly, so... Yeah, I felt bad for Kelly on Sunday night. I had to come home and let the fucking dog out to go tink tink. Tink tink. That's what we call it. Yeah. Tink tink is called making lemonade. And uh, boom boom. Boom boom was poop. Yeah, boom boom was poop. Boom boom was poop. Um, <laughs> now, the celebrity poop. nudes. Just we got into a s- discussion on this abandoned show that ran away. <laughs> the, apparently, th- the leaking of these celebrity nudes is being Boobies. called... The Ooh, fappening. Look, uh, yeah, because you don't fucking know what that word is. We had a whole fucking discussion about fap. Apparently, kitties know that this means to masturbate. Everybody knows this. Onomatopoeia sound for masturbating. Okay. Yeah, question for everyone. If you don't know what it is. Why is your nostrils flaring like that? Please tweet at Jay and tell him she, that he's not alone. She is so fucking angry. About me not knowing what fat means, that her nostrils are breathing. I've known... What? No, I mean like... Oh. I've breathing. known what this has... I know this term for like years. I'm just surprised. This you kid... You are so into fat that work, you don't know what it is. <laughs> I fat so fucking hard, so fucking often. But this kid at work was like, so did you hear about the fapping? And I'm like... I don't know what the fuck you just is said. Is this guy to me. gay or are you just giving that voice? I give everybody that gay voice. That's when right. I when I mock you in fucking conversations with I don't J Lo's vagina after Price is Right, I make that same impression of you. I got you. Um and I was like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And he goes, like the celebrity nudes? And I was like, Oh yeah, I've I seen a lot of those vaginas and titties. <laughs> I didn't know that it was being called the fappening. Why is this? It, it I was like, "What does this mean?" He's happen. like, "It's like the happening and fap." And I was like, "I'm with you." So f- the first part, like, like, what does the second part mean? He's like, "Like fap, like fap, fap, fap." And I was like, "I don't understand." He was was he like you of all people should know what this word means? <laughs> yeah, well, he's 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 very aware of my masturbation. Your middle name is Fap. <laughs> my middle name probably should be Fap, but it isn't. So I'm going, "What the fuck is this?" But. I'm telling you that I seriously watch every show, watch every fucking movie. I listen to new music. I listen to fucking podcasts. Like, I'm I'm online all the time. Fap is more of an underground word. I read forums. I do all. I use YouTube. I've never fucking heard this word. Where was it coined? Why does it exist? Well. Don't know the origin. You meant to look up the origins of FAP, and you never did. So maybe that's something. That I looked. You- it, well, I looked it up after. Okay, after the after the and show what yesterday. Were the origins? And it just said like onomatopoeic sound for masturbating. But and then the sentence was like, "Did you see those naked Scarlett Johansson photos? FAP, FAP, FAP." But did you ever see like the first use of FAP was in nineteen twenty? No, it was fucking what? Urban Dictionary. It's not Webster's. Well. When it's in Webster's, then you can look at me like I'm a fucking idiot. Bootylicious is in fucking Webster's. It is? <laughs> yeah. Bootylicious and don't is in Webster's. Well, those are important things, <laughs> as is fapping. What is the definition of dough? It's just like, don't! Sh- shit. Damn it. 
Yeah, it's annoyed grunt. Is that the definition? Yeah. No! That makes sense. Um, so, f- celebrity nudes. Have you looked, besides with me? No. Do you think it's okay to look? Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, unfortunately Kirsten Dunst, I think <laughs> Olivia Munn, a couple others. Um, How do you feel about this world we live in where it's like, oh my god, I can see everybody I've ever wanted to see naked naked? Uh, well, I mean, I like boys, so that's not that interesting to me, but I'm I don't know. I'm sorry, boys I plural? Why, why does everyone feel the need to have oodles amounts, copious amounts of nudes on in the cloud there's just a huge naked cloud above all of us <laughs> we get it starlets you're it, sexier than me waiting for it to rain down on us <laughs> that's how i feel I just, the like, eye cloud is raining like, puff. i feel bad for these people that their titties are everywhere but it's like you took picture of your titties to begin with but are there not pictures of your titties somewhere i don't think so I mean, how would you feel if your tits got leaked on light? Would you feel the same way? Or would you be like, I didn't ask to be in the spotlight? Um, I'd be mad, but it would be because someone I knew personally betrayed my trust, not because celebritate, as I'm now calling it. You, well, know, you know what I mean? I think it, it's very bizarre that in a, in a digital world that, yes, if you're that fucking famous, and that famous... Especially for being that sexy. Everyone's like, oh my god, they're so fucking sexy. Why would you have a phone, a hackable phone, full of right. vagina pictures? Right. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Well, there was this one girl. I'm sorry you got hacked, but I'm real fucking glad you did. Fat, I don't, fat, fat. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what her name is, but she's an actress, and she got hacked, and she's like, I don't care if everyone sees pictures of my titties. I'm in a movie where you can see my titties. You obviously don't feel too bad for them, then. Like, to be honest, not really. Accidents happen. I watched. I was watching. Um, I think it was on Jimmy Kimmel, and they were going through uh, down the street right outside of his studio, and they were asking everybody. Oh, I love when they do that stuff. It's so funny. They're like, "Have you seen the celebrity nudes?" And then they would, you know, stop the tape, ask the audience yes or no if the, they think that person had seen it. And there was guys in there who looked like they were ninety five and better, who were like, "Yeah, I saw." Them. <laughs> And, and there are other, like, hmm. one guy was like, no, but I plan on looking them up. <laughs> like, almost like he had cleared his schedule. Like, Saturday. That's, that's all day. I'm doing. I'm gonna look at the news. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to get a beer. I'm going to light some candles. I'm going to sit there and fap, fap, fap. So, okay, you're overusing fap. I'm just going to keep overusing using using fap. Is one fap appropriate, or is that like, is that like a one pump chump? It's usually, you just say fap. You don't say fap, fap. You usually just say But if I'm not. What if I'm a three pump jump? No, it doesn't matter. You then I can say like fat, you just fat. say it once. If it's the sound though, you wouldn't have just one. But it's just no. It's just like the uh, meow mix song isn't just meow. Well, I know, but meow, like meow, you know meow, how meow, sometimes because that cat's super excited about meow mix. Okay, so you know how like if you're like I'm hungry, I'm gonna go nom. But then when <laughs> no, you're you say no, that, no, but, I don't say that. But then when you're eating, you say nom nom nom. It's kind of like that. Like if you say. I'm going to fap. You don't say, I'm going to fap, fap, fap. Um, I would just say, I'm going to choke the chicken. I'm going to rub one out. I'm going to go give birth to some knuckle children. Yeah, but fap is only three letters. It's just a more concise way of... I really like knuckle children. I've never it, it, heard that. That one really paints a picture. You like, can just see, you know, glazed knuckles, and you can picture the swimmers. You're a sick bitch. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, I sh- You're I the showed only you. Person that enjoys jizzing all over themselves. I showed you in the celebrity leaked photos your uh, your little boy toy baseball buddy. His penis that is all over. Was them. just I think you showed me that after we did the show. <laughs> yeah. That was just fucking awkward. You fucking love Verlander. I do, but after that, I kind of was like, this made me. It just made me feel uncomfortable. He just was like, I think it was his facial expression. In the picture he of the two of them, were excited because he's fucking Kate Upton. When his dick was like against her butt, and they were taking like that mirror <laughs> picture, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I think it was, you were talking about the one where they're both showing their butt in the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That his face in that picture was just really he, awkward. He's like, I just fucked her. Yeah, Look it at was me. very juvenile. I don't know. That just kind of kind of creeped me out after that. Does that change your thoughts on him at all? Yeah, I mean, I'm not looking. That three seconds that you looked at a photo. 
of him naked in a mirror made you change your perception? I still like him, and I'm just it just it's kind of awkward. <laughs> Cause it's awkward. Like if I go to the game, like I'm seeing your penis, like yeah. it's just weird. Like I'm sure he's embarrassed as shit. Like you know, he's throwing a fastball and just thinking. Like, oh, I don't know if I. Seen my I told you either. They said um, there was one site where it was awkward because too because it broke it down. They found out based on like the geo tagging for the photos that it wasn't actually her phone account that was hacked. It was his. Oh. So they because all the female photos of her, and I think there was a couple other chicks, but they weren't, I don't know who they were, were sent to him. They couldn't find any location data. But the ones that were taken on his phone, they were able to get geo mapping. And they told, <laughs> the website said exactly where each picture was taken. Oh, that's And bizarre. the tiger status for that week. Like, oh, he was here because of this. He was here doing this. This was, like, the day before the Tigers uh, did this. That's so awkward. <laughs> I don't, like, see, that's just too much. That The world scares me in that regard. Like, the, the photos, too, like, the date the photos came in, a couple of them from her was like, oh, this was opening day for this season, you know, whatever. And so like, this, this, this was her, like, oh, look, at, here's my pussy. Happy first day of baseball season. It was kind of funny. That's, uh, I don't like that. I just don't <laughs> like the way that you could just know all of that. All right, it's creepy. Hey, Dez. Yeah. Now that we're no longer including Will in any of our promos, have you heard about the Musings of a Geek podcast network? No, actually, I haven't. What's that? It is a podcast network, which is a collection of Wait, podcasts. What's a podcast? A podcast is like a radio show on the internet. It's incredible. We've got tons of them. At musingsofadgeek.com, you can listen to 16 or 17 or 20 podcasts. It's amazing. We've got ours, the Musings of a Geek, Pilots, the Arkham Social Hour, which Des is the host of, the History of Bad Ideas, Best of the Worst Movie pod- Podcast, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, Graphic Novice, Sweatin' the Small Stuff, Who the What Now, The Q from Hell, 40 Going on 14, Jerk Zeus Radio, Hard to Swallow, Culture Babble, How Is This Movie, and Media Feed. Two new ones. Is that it today? What about the ones we're adding tomorrow? I don't know yet. If you like what you hear on the Musings of a Geek uh, podcast network, go ahead and shoot us an email. If you want to join the Musings of a Geek network, go ahead and jump on musingsofageek.com. Definitely listen to the podcast. Check us all out. We're all there. And as always, stay geeky, my friends. Uh, other news. Joan Rivers, dead at 81. Eh, you seem pretty upset. I mean, I'm, I'm over it by now. See, now, the last time we recorded this, you were all like, well, you making fun of her all the time. Well, because there's a difference between making fun of someone and just being like, uh, I mean. So, from my understanding of the story I read, she suffered cardiac and respiratory arrest during a minor elective throat procedure. Yeah, that's kind of sad. She died in a hospital bed just days later. Sad. I would comment on how ironic it is for Joan Rivers to pass as a result of cosmetic surgery, but I suppose it was inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Considering you probably got to leave the goddamn chair so in was, order not to die. Was her throat procedure a cosmetic one? Um, it said it was elective for sure. Um, I, I think. It seems like if it was elective, it would probably be cosmetic, correct? Yeah, I guess. Well... Uh- my throat needs to be so pretty. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> she had to tighten up that throat vagina she had going, like... Uh, the gobbler. What was it? Uh, fat bastard? Oh, gross. Go- yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was My pretty throat looks like a vagina. <laughs> I eat because I'm unhappy. And I'm unhappy <laughs> because I eat. What are you wearing, darling? Six feet of dirt, darling. Oh. Because she's buried. I get it. Because she's in a hole. Because she's dead. I said, imagine, though. Imagine. How amazing the post-mortem process must have been, considering she's been embalmed since 1988. <laughs> <laughs> Her face cannot fucking move, bro. Yeah. She's not going to decay. She's just going to fucking sit in the earth. I really had no idea she was 81, though. Yeah, I didn't either. I mean, she looked old. And I know she was old. In a, in a like, cranberry preserves sort of way. Yeah, considering I wasn't even aware that she was alive or... A human breathing Well, oxygen. that's the thing, is when you hear these people die, you're like, they weren't already dead? <laughs> I remember we did the show about Shirley Temple, and everyone's like, Shirley Temple was still alive? Like, oh, yeah. Because you think of Shirley Temple in, like, the 30s, but right. she was, like, six. Yeah. It wasn't like she was 96 in the right. 30s. I'm a fucking child. Of course I'm still alive. 
She had a pretty foul mouth, though. Was that your impression of a child? What was, what did I do? I'm a child. Of course I'm still alive. Oh, I guess. Shirley Temple had a foul mouth? Sometimes, apparently, I do impressions without even knowing it. Or Joan No, Rivers fucking Joan Rivers. Rivers. Oh. That's what I, I, I figured that she had been murdered years ago. I thought maybe she'd be rolled up in a red carpet and floated down the river. Well, that's just rude. Because she's always on a red carpet. Right. Foul mouth. Murdered. Rolled up in carpet. Killed. Her name is Rivers. Floating but they'd the be river. able to... Oh, that's funny. I get it now. River, <laughs> Rivers. I can't tell if you're like acting or if you're actually like... I didn't Did actually Did you forget get everything we talked about? I didn't about? actually get it <laughs> before. You didn't get it the first show? No. What? I get it now. It's like I do it like, danger feel, no respect. Nah. Joan Rivers rolled up in a red carpet. Eh, sent down the river. Are you doing another impression of someone? <laughs> that was the worst Rodney Dangerfield. You don't know Rodney Dangerfield probably because no. you're six. I'm not six. I'm 12. You're 12. Sorry. 12. 12. Were you a fan of Joan Rivers? Can't Did you say have that fond, I was. fond memories? Can't say that I was. <laughs> I'm not anti. Like You, you want to know the most fandom I ever had for Joan Rivers? Mm. 1973 episode of Here's Lucy that she did. Oh, you fucking love Lucy. Where they fucking did jury duty, and it was funny. But it wasn't like, I'm going to pursue your entire career, Joan Rivers funny. Fun fact, they actually got the title of I Love Lucy from something that you said. And it was, I love Lucy. And they were like, we should name a show that. Do you know that um, Desi Arnaz demanded that he have top billing over Lucy? Because that's just the way it was. He thought he was a bigger star. He was the man. He didn't they were wanna... married? Yeah. He didn't want to be known as, like, that's he's Lucy's husband. So the studio heads were like, you do have top billing if we call the show I Love Lucy. Because you are I. Oh, that <laughs> makes apparently, sense. Apparently he fell for it. So it's literally like, you are the I in I Love Lucy. That makes sense. That's That's clever. Yeah. But that that, guy's kind of a tool, right? Didn't he beat her? Um, I mean, a lot of the TV movies seem to say that, yeah, he beat her and uh, he cheated her for sure. Poor Lucy. I love her. He loved her. He did not love her enough not to beat her. Most heartbreaking story of the recent, uh, I'd say two-week period. Um. Hello Kitty is no longer... Well, I guess not even no longer. Hello Kitty is not a cat. She's a fucking human, but she's not. She's actually really <laughs> a cat, and it's all just a disguise for trying to get some uh, some publicity. That little cat-looking thing with whiskers? Yeah, that's not a fucking cat, no. So, Sorry. does she have a hormonal imbalance? Is that why she... <laughs> Like, is that why... Um, I have friends' mothers who have whiskers, and probably okay. more whiskers than Hello Kitty, but still. Well, didn't... Um, isn't there rationale Hello Kitty's not a cat because she doesn't walk around on all fours? Here is Arthur what... Arthur is an aardvark, and he's just kind of just chilling, like, with DW Sanrio, which is Kitty's manufacturer, stated, Hello Kitty is not a cat. She's a cartoon character. She is a little girl. She is a friend. That's a weird like yeah, statement too. She is a she is a friend. That's such an Asian thing to say. She is your friend. Should like, I read it? Yeah, okay, Should I try back to read up it? And say it in Asian. <clears throat> Hello Kitty is not a cat. She's a cartoon character. She is a little girl. <laughs> she is a friend. Am I doing, is you just Asian? did a little Mexican in there when you said friend. <laughs> but she is not a cat. She's never depicted on all fours. She walks and sits like a two-legged creature. She does have a pet cat of her own, however, and it's called Chummy Kitty. She also had twin sister Mimi. <laughs> and she lives in fucking London, apparently. She British. I. <laughs> that is weird. She's a friend. But uh, she do like rice. <laughs> and soy sauce. I'll tell you if the bitch is the cat. Let me sniff it. Okay. I will tell oh. you. A pussy from a pussy. I went on Huffington Post and I there was a poll and hundreds of thousands of. You don't have to go to Huffington Post for a poll, dear. No, P O L L. I was talking about penis. Well, hundreds of people answered this poll, and the poll was: Do you think Hello Kitty is a girl <laughs> or a cat? Or I and wish there was a third 90- option to say a friend. <laughs> and Nin- then everybody would be like, "Oh no, oh, shit. so many options." Uh, 
A and B. No. <laughs> and everyone was like, fuck it. She's still a gr- or she's still a cat. <laughs> I just like that her. They're like, no, she has a cat of her own named Charmy Kitty. It's like, well, that Charmy Kitty and Hello Kitty. I mean, that's. Yeah. They're obviously well, no, but related. Hello Kitty's first name is Kitty, according to the, these people. I almost feel like Charmy Kitty is like her daughter. Like you, you're born as a kitten, uh, a real cat, and then as you as you grow older, you become. Can we get Kelly a dog? Upright kitty. No, fuck you. God. I think they just wanted something to say about Hello Kitty. I'm telling you, let like, me sniff that pussy, and I will tell especially you. Especially for the beginning of the year, like oh, <laughs> buy my backpacks. Killian is really. He's excited. like, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> He, he just knows that our next topic is going to be very depressing. What? Date rape. Oh. You fucking love date rape. That's not nice to say. I uh, Everybody knows that uh, Bethany Buchanan and date rape go hand in hand. They do not. Jay, don't say that. That's not nice. <laughs> I, I don't know what part of the show made you think that we were supposed to be nice here. Uh, well, the part w- where Hello Kitty's a friend. That's nice. Date rape is not a friend. <laughs> <laughs> a group true. of students at North Carolina State University have created a drug-sensitive nail polish called Undercover Colors. It's a cool name. Sounds like a good cop show. Yeah. It's like a a black police show. (laughs) A black cop show. That would be Undercover Colors. Oh, my God. That's (laughs) awful. Good thing Mitch isn't on this show. We'd be in trouble. (laughs) Undercover Colors. Um, That change color when they come into contact with with some of the more popular date rape drugs. That's just creepy to me. The popular one. Rufy is a street name, right? Oh, you buy that generic date rape drug? I use top of the line date rape drugs. Is Rufy a street name, though? I think Rufalin is the actual drug name. You would know. Out of anyone, you would know. Drug sensitive nail polish. I think it's legit. Good idea. I think it's legit. Now, unfortunately, you know where I'm going with this. Uh, but some of these uppity bitches seem oh. to think that. Uh, well, I'll just give you their words. Katie Russell from Rape Crisis England and Wales is critical of the idea. The British are crazy. Saying, for us, we work with victims to make them realize that they did nothing wrong. Among primary cases, some do ask if they could have done something to stop it. Products like this suggest otherwise. The emphasis must be placed 100% on the perpetrators. And as I said last time in kind of a drunken slur, all the, oh, I'm not sure. You understood sure, that? <laughs> I'm not sure what accent that was. That was not British. <laughs> that was my, like, wine snob that I was doing earlier. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ma, this year is awful. Okay. Oh. Um, oh, oh, darling. That's, oh. that's more French, but... How is that French? Because the, the French, French are would be like, oui, oui, Because the French are snubs. Um, Allez no. vous, vous coucher avec moi, ce soir. Yeah. La yeah. plume. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> I think it's like the pen. <laughs> <laughs> the pen. You just... <laughs> the pen. Arriva dace mi I think it's Italian. <laughs> yeah, that's just... <laughs> okay, you're done. Damn it! Oh, I, um... Uh, je mange les bébés. I like to eat babies. Hey, bébé. Yeah. That song. But anyway. Hey, bébé. What I was trying to say last time, but I was, I kind of drunkenly slurred this a little bit because this was towards the, <laughs> we're wrapping up and I was on my second or third beer. Um, <laughs> Whoa. I, oh yeah. <laughs> Big I, drinker in I the know. room. I think, uh. There's a difference between being preventative and being like, this was all your fault, you stupid girl. Yes. Like. To me, a preventative measure is never a bad thing, even if it's not 100% successful. Yeah, because being self-aware is very important. So by watching your drink, if you go to a party with shady people and making sure people aren't putting anything in it, you know. Is better than being like, la, 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 I'm so, That's wait, you know That's why I mean? this next bitch really annoys me. Guardian columnist Jessica Valenti has also criticized such products, writing in her column this week, 
prevention tips or products that focus on what women do or wear aren't just ineffective. They leave room for victim blaming when those steps aren't taken. Bullshit. Well, that's the thing. No one's going to be like, oh, well, fuck you. You weren't wearing the nail polish. And, you know, in a lot of cases, people that get sexually assaulted, they don't necessarily always get roofied. But again, it's like, if you can do one more thing, you might as well. It's not that hard. Let's not invent seatbelts. That way, when people die from not wearing seatbelts, we can't blame them for not wearing seatbelts. Didn't you say it was clear nail polish anyway? Uh, I believe the article I read said that it is a clear nail polish and that it turns black upon contact with the drugs. Yeah, so it's like it's not like everyone's like, oh, that specific. Probably shade of pink. so She's men can wear it too. Pol- yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. It's it's and guys came up with it. I don't. It's not a gender specific product. I don't know. I think it's cool. Just seems dumb to me that any preventative thing, especially for something like rape, something yeah. that could put, even if it has the potential to help, why would you shun and it? And I think there's a difference between telling, and these are fucking women doing. Th- this. Yeah, there's a difference between telling women to not wear skirts and telling women to. We're saying, hey, there's this this nail polish, this kind of like sketchy radar you can have, if you know what I mean? Well, okay, that's a good question, since you're a lady, and sometimes you dress in a way where I'm like, wow, you're going to give people the wrong idea. Do you think that that um, may encourage or make a man entertain the idea of rape more than if you were dressed in a fucking parka, like you said last time? No, because rape is about power, not about sexual desire, necessarily. I would say rape is about coming. No, it, well, that's because you helping, don't have... Jay, you somebody don't Somebody helping me come is raping. You don't have the mindset of someone who would do that to somebody else. So you don't think that if you were walking down the street in a raincoat one day, as opposed to walking down there in, like, fucking... We'll say Kelly Bundy skirt with your fucking tits hanging out and one ass cheek popping out of your skirt. That's not going to entice me a little bit more than the raincoat. I, as far as rape goes, no. I think that you might, someone might approach you and be like, "Hey, girl, what's up?" But there's a difference between that and actually committing sexual assault. I don't think that what you wear has an effect on that. I think it's. Because, again, people don't... You don't get sexually assaulted because you're wearing a skirt. It happens because there's someone out there that wants to assert power over you. And saying, like, oh, I'm a man. You know, that's that's how it goes. You said that I don't know because I don't have the mindset. So how the fuck do you know? Do you have the rapist mindset? No, just because I, as a female... You have to see things from a different perspective. I used to be. You don't You don't need to see it from that perspective because you're not that kind of person. Huh. Good to know. Good to know that I'm not a sexual predator. Right. I'm glad. Who to thunk? Who to thunk it? I mean, I did, so. <laughs> uh, next story. Arizona shooting range instructor was shot and killed. By a nine-year-old girl learning to use a motherfucking Uzi. That's so fucking annoying. Yeah, the kickback from the gun made it lurch over her head, hitting her instructor with a stray bullet. Legal or not that you can do that shit, I just think it's like, why? Do you think a nine-year-old should be using an Uzi? No, I don't. What's the point? I don't think I, like, any, what's the point? I just don't see the point. I'm very, I don't know, I actually... Are have, you anti-gun? That's the thing, I was just going to say, I have no idea what your feelings on the subject are. I I don't know that I'm anti-gun. I'm more like, un, guns are unnecessary. Unless they're used... Guns for, for personal safety purposes just end up causing trouble. Like, my dad has guns, but he uses them for deer. I always find it funny too, like the 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 rootin' tootin' rednecks who are like everybody should have guns and there should be no restrictions. Well, that we don't live in that time anymore. And then there's just people taking the law into their own hands. You've got the problem of people who are not properly trained on how to use 
certain weapons. There's people that are, you know, for example, okay, say that we had a gun here and (laughs) I thought someone was breaking into the apartment. Okay. So I whip out the gun and the door opens and I get scared. So I end up shooting. But really, it's just you who forgot your fucking key. Actually, I'm going to see if this loads. You Keep know what talking. I mean? There's just so many, like, accident. Like, you know, where you hear those stories where fucking six-year-old kid was like, oh, what's this? And then he shoots his friend in the face. You don't need no gun control. You know what you need? We need some bullet control. <laughs> we, need the main, we need to control the bullets. That's right. I think all bullets should cost $5,000. <laughs> $5,000 for a bullet. You know why? Because if a bullet costs $5,000, I think it's dumb to give a nine-year-old newsie no matter what. Oh, well, yeah. How big are they? Uh, she about here, I think. Oh. I think I think it's funny, too, that it's like, hey, come on out to Arizona. We'll take you a fucking tour to this. I think it was the Hoover Dam. Tour de shoots. I think it was the <laughs> Hoover Dam, the Grand Canyon, and a fucking gun range. That's so like, west. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, although, you know, I guess that's a hazard of the job. This guy probably knew that this could happen when you signed up for a job at a gun range. I feel like you would wear some sort of protective gear. Or, or not stand directly next to them. I don't know. It seems like you would be kind of holding the gun for them. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I just, I just, no. What is the youngest you can be? Like, could a six-year-old have done this? Could be. It's just so I'm not very convinced it was an accident. This child may have had it out for this man. <laughs> you know how you fucking bitch. women are. Don't like being told what to do. So she's like, fuck you. Don't tell me what to do. Fuck you, shit. Mr. Instructor, bitch. I'm going to oozy your face off. Your brain's going to be oozing out your head. How do you feel about like <laughs> video game, the argument like video games desensitize people from guns and shit? Bullshit. If I was going to kill somebody, I would have done it by now with all the horror movies I watch. Yeah. I I actually think that those things are a stress than, release. That's different than a first person shooter game. No, it's not. You're still it's still watching people die at your hands or a mass murderer's hands. To me, I always say horror movies especially they're therapeutic because you get you you almost get to know the consequences of those things. Yeah, that's true. More no, than you would think, without ever experiencing I don't it. think that that video games desensitize people. If anything, I think it, again, you, like you were saying, it's more consequential. Yeah. The only difference is in real life, your friend won't respawn, respawn. for round yep. two. No respawn. Uh, he never showed back up. That's Thumb good. in my butt, sixty-seven. Yeah. At AOL dot com, never came back. I'm just telling you, nobody's taking this goth bitch to the prom in high school. Yeah. Because you know goddamn well she's going to start. She's going to have some issues. She's going to have a lot of issues. She's going to be painting her fucking nails with that uh, date rape black nail polish. Well, and it's clear, though. She would have to. She'll be raped. She'll rape herself. Or she'll drug herself. Yeah, <laughs> I just, I don't. I can only afford fucking date rape nail polish. I have to roofie myself I can't, so I can be goth. I can't decide if I feel bad for her if I just am like, why? <laughs> I can't, just can't decide. I, no, I told you, I, I really feel bad for the instructor, because he doesn't even have a good oh, story. Dead. Well, that too. When he goes to fucking heaven, he doesn't even have a good story for his friends. You don't believe in heaven. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 
Some people believe in heaven. You probably I feel like that's a decent story. <laughs> he, how'd you, he how'd you die, news? Charlie? He was wait, on wait, the wait, news. wait. You were you were killed by a nine year old girl <laughs> at work. On a Monday? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? But uh, at least he was on the news and shit. That's better than <laughs> Oh, I'd love to be on the fucking news with a bullet in my brain from a nine year old. Well, I'm just saying, like if, if he's looking for a story. I can't believe you talked over my Uzi joke earlier. I was really upset. Your Uzi joke? His he was shot with an Uzi and then his brain Uzied. Oh, I said. missed that. <laughs> I know, because you didn't fuck. You never fucking listen to me. Uzi brain. You just keep talking. You're just like, oh my god, I fucking people are gonna listen to my voice for a change. La. Why are you blowing that thing? Don't blow that thing. So. So. ALS ice gay fucking bucket fuck challenge. That. I'm glad that we both share the same annoyance view on this. Like, Quick sorry. side note, fuck you, Mark Isley, for challenging me. Dumping uh, water on your head will not affect social change. There, I said it. Um, Yeah, I'm not going to do any of that shit. I think that if you want to give to a charity, give to a fucking charity. Don't make a big fucking spectacle of it. And dumping yeah. ice water on your head is not exciting. Right. And like, do something that I would... Not do. What do I something was, that I would be unwilling to do. Yeah. Eat, eat a fucking monkey the, penis The Jay raw. Bidwell challenge. Have we come up with anything for that? No. I want to, as we discussed on the, on the Lost show, it's like there's two Lost episodes now, and that's one of them. <laughs> that's what we should just call it. The Lost episode. The Lost episode. Um, I want to come up with a challenge for this show that is probably going to involve alcohol. I feel like it should involve something spicy because you love spicy things. I do enjoy the flaming of the butthole. Ass burning wings. <laughs> but yeah, I was challenged by uh, my buddy Mark. I said, Mark, I can't fucking do it because I've talked so much shit about this contest or this challenge that I would be a fucking hypocrite. I can't do that it. That was my thing as well. I I never got challenged, so I got lucky in that respect. Um, Maybe you need friends to be challenged. Shut up. You're mentally challenged. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Damn it. What about you? Lumps. Well, what I was saying um, to you the other day is I would rather donate to a charity or something that I think has actual impact. Like, as I was telling you, I know a girl. Yeah, donate to something you feel strongly about. I know a girl Don't that, give in to social pressure that about ALS challenge. I got challenge. diagnosed with cancer, so I donated $20 to her cancer yeah. GoFundMe to pay for, um, you know, Freezing her eggs and, you know, doing all that stuff that insurance doesn't necessarily cover. Go help Rain get a little fucking diabetic alert dog. Right, and get a new dad. (laughs) Diabetic alert dog. D dot A dot dot D dot. I don't know how many dots there is. It was D dot A dot D dot. D dot A. That sounds like a... Like a... D dot A dot D dot. dot. Sounds like an old bebop. It's like an old jazz song. D dot A dot D dot. Scatman Crothers should be singing that. Who? Dida, a da, dida. Me, blah, blah, blah. Scat man, crothers either. What? That's like, that's like the fiftieth fucking reference I've made in this episode. Where Sorry, you're going? Who? It was the fourth. Okay, which who is the fuck did? Day. day. So yeah, fuck you, bucket challenge. I think it's a way of guilting you, people into something. And from some of the reports I read, a lot of the fucking money isn't even going to actual research. I didn't hear any about that, so I have no idea. You know what I heard, which was really annoying. Um. This, you know how basically the challenge is, is you either dump water on your head or you donate a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. So this one person was pit that this one person like nominated Barack Obama. I'm sure a lot of people did. And instead of dumping water on his head, he donated a hundred dollars and they were all pissed. It's like, that's the fucking point. <laughs> the point is to donate fucking money. They must have been Republicans. They were mad that he wouldn't dump the water on his head. That he just, just I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Those goddamn Republicans wouldn't want that black man dumping white water on his head anyway. Because they're racist. And then what Fuck someone it. else was saying is, with all the time in the, you know, I mean, a bucket of ice, or, you know, going to buy a bag of ice. It's a dollar or two. One dollar like, at Arby's? Right, at Arby's. That's what I was saying, yeah. But, like, you can spend that time and money doing something useful. Butt sex? Even... Kansas City push pop? Even making a... Tweeting at Bidwell Fog? Right. Visiting jbidwell.com, listening to all the new episodes of Hard as Well? Just different stuff that has more of an impact than dumping a bucket of Searching water Jennifer Lawrence that, naked? That doesn't do anything. Researching why Hello Kitty is not a cat? She is a cat. <laughs> she do be a pussy. 
She, let's, let's that bet that good. pussy smells real good. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's, she's just a little girl. She's a friend. She's a friend <laughs> with benefits. She's a friend with benefits. Don't talk about her. She's a friend. <laughs> Hello, Kitty. My friend she is a human. with benefits. She is a friend. Uh, if you want to help us, though, I mean, we we need a challenge. I want like a good, hard to swallow, hard to swallow challenge. That sounds sexy. A hard to swallow challenge. I think it should be something that is legitimately hard to swallow. Like a whole egg. Oh, what if we swallowed an egg whole? With like with the with the shell? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, do you know what I learned today about eggs? Oh, fuck! Why do you always go off on a tangent? This is related. You know that on the United States. This is why you're always tired by the end because you fucking add twenty extra minutes with like oh my god, and then I saw a flower did, once and it was fucking yellow you know that the, and there was a bee by you're it. You're the one and taking the bee up. looked like he really needed some pollen. So I was like, "Hello, Mr. Bee, what you have some fucking pollen from the fucking flower? What kind of it's story? fucking yellow." And he's like, "It's not actually yellow. It's actually pink. You might be colorblind." I'm like, "Oh fuck, I better go to the eye doctor." So I went to the fucking eye doctor, and the eye doctor <laughs> said. They, oh, your fucking prescription is expired. Would you like some new contacts? These contacts give you X-ray vision. And what I was like, holy fuck shit! Kind of story? I looked down and I was like, fucking. I was like, oh my god, I'm not wearing pants. But I was like, wait, I am wearing pants. It's from the fucking X-ray vision. I actually seen through my pants. Jay. So I fucking freaked out for nothing. Jay. And then my what? roommate was like, why are you so fucking spazzed out? Like, I thought I fucking had no pants, but it was from these fucking x-ray contacts that my fucking eye doctor gave Jay. me after the fucking bee told me I was colorblind. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous story you've ever come up with. I hope you just listened to that again and you were like, where did I get this? No. Do you know that the U.S. is one of the only states that, or not the only states, the only countries that um, <laughs> the US ref- is one of the only states. refrigerates their eggs? In the okay. store. Okay. Because what they do to the eggs in the process that goes from chicken butthole to store. Please do not say chicken butthole to store. The egg, when the chicken, you know, extrapolates, that's not the right word. When it gets, the fuck are you saying? gets rid of the egg, okay. it has this protective coating on it that protects it from bacteria and basically means it doesn't need to be refrigerated may i point out one egg that should have been gotten rid of mine (laughs) but then when the process of bleaching the eggs and washing them and all this shit makes all that protective coating go away and then you have to refrigerate the eggs i think my story was way more educational i'm just saying um that's why technically if you have like farm fresh eggs you don't need to refrigerate those so the card to swallow challenge. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Um, how about like an egg yolk with hot sauce on it? I don't know. I think people actually. Why are don't really you ask that. the tweeters? Kansas City push pop challenge. Get drunk and regret your life decisions. No. On a Wednesday challenge. No. You no. do that weekly, so it's not a challenge for you. The no no shit for a weekend challenge again, you couldn't do that. Uh, the no more going to work and let bitches pay for all your things challenge. How about the make up a better story than the colorblind bumblebee story? Uh, once was a frog. No, and he sat on no. a log, and he thought that log was pretty pretty, but the log said. Yo, I don't really like you sitting on my face the way you is. And then the frog said, okay, I'll go over here. And then he ran into a bumblebee. Who are you? And the you? bumblebee was next to a flower. <laughs> and the flower was no! yellow. And the frog said, wow, that's a pretty yellow flower. And the <laughs> fucking <laughs> bee said, actually, the I'll flower is pink. For you. <laughs> but I know an eye doctor that you might like. Jay, you so the frog <laughs> goes to the <laughs> And ran into this lumpy-headed bitch named Bethany. Bethany said, wait till you get your hands on these crazy x-ray contacts. I can't. You're going to think you're not wearing pants. And the frog's going to go, I'm not wearing pants. Because I'm a fucking frog. I can't stand you. (laughs) You must die. Uh, We interrupt this amazing podcast to bring you a special news bulletin. Your mother's a whore. <laughs> More at six. Seriously? What fucking year is this? Ah! Who the hell are you? Uh, Jeremy? 
from Married with Podcast from CouchPotatoNation.com. You asked me to do this? <laughs> All right. That podcast where you talk to your wife. You know, most dudes actually spend eternity trying to avoid conversing with their wives, but I guess your way works too. Uh, why did I agree to this? <clears throat> you know what else is bomb ass? Oh, God. Well, according to the script in my hands that you wrote, I'm supposed to say, speaking of podcasts, don't you run a podcast too, Jay? A funny one? The funniest one I've ever heard? Jesus. How many special needs kids wrote this shit? Just read it. <sighs> Hard to Swallow with J.J. Bidwell is your one-stop shop for filth, celebrity gossip, and Jay's twisted take on current events. Now available on Stitcher, iTunes, and of course, CouchPotatoNation.com. You know, that's an excellent point, Jeremy. <laughs> and if you want all this, minus this jackass, Married with Podcast is for you. You, you know, let's actually just stick to the lines that are written. Uh... <sighs> CouchPotatoNation.com. Awesome, funny, and judgment-free. <laughs> Your mom is free. You know what? Fuck this shit. Hey, th where, where are you going, bro? Go fuck yourself, Jay! <sighs> Damn it. And the last, but certainly not least, story that we're going to talk about is my absolute favorite. Do One do of the most do exciting do things do I've do ever do heard. Do I don't... What was that? What was that like the fucking... It was the final countdown. The final countdown. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> Jack the Ripper. Dum, dum, dum. His mask has been ripped off. I fucking hate you. Yeah, well, I guess you could put that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Jack the Ripper, they're saying, is a man named... Or at least was a man. Aaron <laughs> Raskolnikov. Aaron Kosminski, Kosminski. A Polish Jew... Hairdresser. Hairdresser. Why well, you gotta ruin everything? I like told you I like saying things in unison. All this according to a new book called Naming Jack the Ripper. Did they name him Jack or did they name him Aaron? You're a fucktard! So, Jack the Ripper, were you big on the story? I love that case. Like, I mean, it's interesting to me. I've gotten more into the killers since knowing you. Uh-huh. Jack the Ripper always fucking fascinated me because it is like the greatest unsolved crime spree yeah, I think in history quite, it is quite interesting in that regard so they say he killed five prostitutes for sure maybe up to 11 there's other murders they're not quite positive on right and that I don't think the killer ever claimed in any of his letters but one of the Killian go fuck yourself <laughs> one of the ladies of the night because they were prostitutes as I educated you on a few days ago cheers cheers um, was named Catherine Eddowes now she had a shawl that apparently was at the scene of the murder. And last time you asked me to describe a shawl, and I think I said it was like a... <laughs> you said, it's a scarf with no sleeves. No, I said it's oh, a shit. It is, uh, fuck, is it scarves don't have sleeves? Oh, fuck, I'm... <laughs> I gotta go back to the eye doctor and get my... No, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just like a big scarf type thingy. So, this shawl was apparently taken from the scene of the crime by a police officer. Given to his wife, and totally from the sounds of it, yeah, fucking weird, right? Hey, we're into that kinky, blood spattered shawl yeah. shit. I want you to they probably use it as their own cum rag. Had fucking Aaron over for dinner. Yeah. So this shawl apparently hung out for 126 years, was not destroyed. I think it was in two pieces and has since been restored. But they found blood. They probably on ripped it in half shawl. to bind the woman's wrists because they were into some weird shit. Anybody could come forward with a bloody shawl and say this was from fucking one of the Ripper mm -hmm. victims, right? Yeah. But they were able to find arterial blood and matched it to Catherine Eddowes yeah. by using DNA from her great 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 whatever the fuck, however many great great granddaughters her, her she spawn, had. Her spawn, 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 spawn. So. Also on the shawl was found jizz, kind jizz, of. Jizz, jizz, jizz. Now, they're saying that they went through like, did two be fucking... jizz. Sorry? Two be jizz. You're an idiot. In the urethra. Stop interrupting me for stupid shit! And then the frog was like... <laughs> so, they found this semen stain. Jizz. Were able to... Extract DNA from what was the word? What was the word? Where is it? E epithelium? <laughs> Something fancy in that, yeah. Epithelium is a type of tissue that coats your organs. And in this case, 
It was most likely to come from the urethra of his dick. That's your piss hole. No, I suppose to the urethra from your nose. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Urethra is a piss hole. Right. Um, piss too. During ejaculation. Now, the, somehow the cells were still alive. Obviously, semen didn't live 126 years. Magic semen. But somehow this shit did. Now, they matched it to this Aaron Kosminski, and they're saying that were this to go to trial right now, they could convict him without like, straight doubt. Straight up. Isn't that fucking insane? Yeah. 126 years after the murder, they believe they have named Jack the Ripper. And it took them, what, seven or some odd years, I think I remember? Uh, I do believe the man this, who or? began the testing of the shawl acquired it in 2007. Okay. So It's weird years. to think that 2007 was seven years ago, but... Killian! Shut up! He's being a douche. Yeah, he's a pretty much douche. Um, they were able to also find parts of her kidney. Her kidney had been removed during the murder. That's disturbing. I'm disturbed by that. Well, Jack the Ripper actually sent a piece of her kidney to Scotland Yard Police. The fuck? A very famous letter. I bl- the, the, was, was he like, here, take a bite out of this? Ebony, ebony, ebony. It but, was but signed from hell. That's how oh. he signed his letter. With a piece of her kidney. Well, at least he knew where he was going. <laughs> there is no hell, there is no heaven. Yeah, well. But I was fucking fascinated by the story. Uh, they're saying that if this man is the Ripper, or I, I keep saying is, I guess it should be was. But it's so fresh that I just want to say so is. Fresh. So fresh. He would have been 23 years old at the time of the murder. That's just now weird for me. Popular theory says that the only reason the murder stopped was because something must have happened to the killer. The killer either moved, went to prison, something... Broke his leg. Like, you couldn't chase down okay, people to I'm kill Okay, I'm just going to turn your microphone off now, because you're inputting nothing helpful. What if it was off the whole time? Over shut here? up. Just shut up. So, what they found out was this man was actually locked up only two years after the last of the murders credited to the Ripper. Yeah. Spent the remainder of his life in a mental institution and died, I believe, in 1919. And at the time of the murders, he lived just blocks away from where two of the bodies were found. Weird. So, He's totally the killer, plus we already know. Now, obviously that they found DNA, they can connect him. Now, my thought was, and hopefully the book will cover this, Unless the like the jizz was found on top of the blood stain, how can you prove that he wasn't just one of their clients? Well, he could have done like a fucking stab instead of a stab and fuck. What? Like he could have, you know, done some sexuals and then killed her. It's possible, I suppose. That's why, you know, a fucking stab. I don't remember all of the details of... Wh- I, I think she was killed in an alley. And I don't think that... Plus, there's no other DNA samples on that thing, right? Mm-hmm. So I just feel like it would have to, you know? You think it would have to be him? Yeah. Yeah, but maybe his thing was like, I'm, I'm into jizzing on your shawl. I know that. There's, guy, there's, there's no guys shawl, online... Shawl jizz fetishes. No, but there's fucking panty fucking jizz fetishes, stockings. You seen those? No. There's fucking porn sites where it's like just dudes jerking off on bitchin' stockings. That's weird. I don't mean bitchin' like those stockings, they're bitchin'. I mean, <laughs> a bitch is wearing stockings. Oh, oh, I heard like bitchin' like, yeah, like B-I-T-C-H. Like, look at these bitchin' stockings I that apostrophe. it's got. It's not like just bitchin' stockings like laying on the table. Like a girl wearing stockings. Yes. It's bitchin' a bitch. stockings. A bitch in stockings. <laughs> look at my bitchin' stockings. Well, that's just a pair of socks on the table. Yeah, aren't they bitching? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, I want to read this book. I uh, The article the came from the Daily Mail. I did share it on our Facebook group if you want to read it. It's pretty it's, good. It's a pretty interesting read. Um, Facebook.com slash Pod. You can find that link. If you probably search the Daily Mail website, you can find that. Loved it. I got. I'm gonna read. It was good. I'll give. I'll give you more information when I read naming Jack the Ripper because I'm going to. Cause and that sweet. comes out. Came out. I forget. Came out on the ninth, the day we first recorded this bullshit. Oh. The day that yeah. Ooh. So, 
I um, think that's probably going to do it. Yeah, let's do um, it. Next episode, I found a whole bunch of random shit on my computer. Been doing this for a year. Got a lot of unused material because either uh, fucking it sucks or it wasn't as good as it did. It ruined the flow of an episode, maybe. The flow. People said some shit they shouldn't have. I had to do some editing and said, fuck it. Um, some advertising stuff that I never used. Some uh, cross-promotion stuff. So next week's episode, I do believe at least half of it, probably the whole thing, is going to be unused material. Yeah. What is wrong with you? A salad bowl? Are you having a stroke? What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you just tired? Are you drunk or what? No. You look like a fucking mental patient. You look like Aaron Kosminski right now. You always say that to me. If you ever... At least I'm wearing pants. Your toenail polish is pink. What, What drug is that detecting? Bitchin'. Look forward to that next week. Don't forget, check out jbidwell.com. We are on Stitcher, iTunes, CouchPotatoNation.com. All the websites. Go listen to all their great shows. Also on MusingsOfAGeek.com. I'm sure there's some others that I'm fucking missing. But you have no fucking reason. Oh, YouTube. We're on fucking YouTube as well, so. No fucking reason not to go find all the latest hard to swallow goodness. Make sure you tweet me with your suggestions for the hard to swallow challenge. Again, fuck you, Mark Isley, for challenging me to that. Thanks, everybody. Say goodbye. Good night. Go fuck something. Go fap. Set this down now. <sighs> you gotta drink some first. Okay, okay, okay. I heard it's bad luck to cheers and then not drink. Earlier today, I noticed you did that though. I don't care. That's because your cheers was bullshit. <clears throat> you were like, let's cheers to nothing. I said, let's cheers. cheers for the weekend. It's not my weekend. It's, well, it's fucking my weekend, Thursday. Bit-tucha. It's fucking 9 11. It's a fucking Thursday. <laughs> You are now leading the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends.